Greetings, everybody. I'm Ann Jacob with Usher's Ferry. And uh, like a lot of you, I've been working from home this week. But just because I'm working from home doesn't mean I don't still have the opportunity to share some really cool history with folks. One of the things that we have at Usher's Ferry that we always want to show off and we never seem to find the time is our really cool antique treadle sewing machines. We have actually three or four of them on site, and most of them actually do work. We have a lot of people who often want to donate us machines, and we honestly can't take anymore. But I sometimes wonder if people would be more interested in using and keeping them if they actually knew how they worked and had a little history on them. So if you happen to be one of those folks who has grandma or great grandma's antique sewing machine sitting at home in the attic and you're tripping over it um, and you'd like to learn more about it, I'm going to give you a really quick tour of the treadle sewing machine, how it works and how it operates. Okay, this particular sewing machine that we have today that I'm going to show off to you is actually very special to me because it belonged to my grandma. It is a Singer Red Eye number 66, and my grandmother was married oh, probably about 1920 or so, and sewed with this machine, as far as I know, her entire life. The reason they call this particular style of machine the red eye is because of the pattern on it. If you see, it's got kind of this paisley eye shape pattern. This is one of the most common Singer machines you will see. One of the really cool ones that we have at Usher's Ferry is called the Memphis or the Sphinx because it has an Egyptian decal pattern on it with a Sphinx. That's a little earlier machine. It was built about 1902. There's another pattern they had called the Lotus that has more of a floral um, art deco flower pattern to it. But those were the three most common singers. If you want to know how to date your singer and find out the model number, you actually look for the serial number down here at the base of the machine. There's actually a website you can go to, uh, Antique Sewing Machine Society, that will um, have all the serial numbers for Singer and it will tell you what year your machine was made, what model it is, and even sometimes where your machine was made. So one of the common questions we get, and it's probably because everybody's been watching Antiques Roadshow, right, is how much is my antique worth, or in this case, how much would my antique sewing machine be worth? As a museum person, uh, by law, we are not allowed to give you a valuation on your machine. However, I will say this, keep in mind, value is, is generally set by how rare something is. And Singer made over 36 million of these machines. So they're pretty common. Um, if you're paying a lot of money for a treadle sewing machine, you really want to know why. You really want to make sure it's a very rare or special piece because there's a lot of these out there. I honestly think it's better to sew with them. Of course, I'm sure the last question everybody wants to know, after 110 years, does Grandma Singer still work? Well, let's test it out and see. Not too shabby. I think it does. We'll see you next time. If you want to know more about singers, I can do a few more videos on how these old birds work, how to thread them, how to oil them, and other basic maintenance. So stay safe out there, everybody.